summer is almost here, which for many means getting out and getting grilling. But if you don't have a grill or you just don't feel like going to all the trouble, Chef Richard Blaze, winner of Bravo's Top Chef All-Stars, has come up with some easy recipes that are truly smoking. They all have that sort of trendy, beautiful smoke flavor, but none of them force you to spend two, three hours outside on the grill. The key, he says, is adding a little smoked ham, like this one from Boar's Head. One of the interesting things about this product is the fact that it's flavored with beechwood, which was something as a chef I didn't cook with until this project. And beechwood, which is from Europe, Germany specifically for this product, lends a really nice clean flavor. It doesn't give you a lot of bitter, sort of ashy aftertaste that a lot of heavily smoked foods can. Blaze says it's also extremely versatile. This is a kale salad. I don't care what people say, kale is still cool. Kale is still on trend. Then we have some dates in here, some kale. We have the beechwood smoked ham, some pepper jack cheese, some chickpeas. Super healthy salad for dinner dish. One of my kids' favorite foods is fried rice. My kids are eating fried rice two, three times a week maybe. One of my favorite dishes as well. Here we've just taken the traditional pork fried rice, replaced the pork with beechwood smoked ham, and it gives it this dynamic smoky flavor, works really well with the ginger and soy and chilies. And this is an omelet with some caramelized onions, melty cheese, beechwood smoked ham, and a meal in itself. In addition to several successful restaurants, including Juniper and Ivy in San Diego, Blaze also has a James Beard award-winning cookbook, Try This at Home. He says the secret to being a great at-home cook is not being afraid to make mistakes. Have fun with it. Don't worry about specific recipes. Find a food you like, like fried rice, and say, okay, what's a base recipe for that? How can I add? How can I subtract? A great example is this spaghetti dish, right? Where we've taken something very traditional, pasta with pesto, and instead of basil, we've added broccoli to it. So all of a sudden, we're being incredibly creative. So start with a traditional idea and replace one ingredient, sub something else in, and you're gonna find that you'll be winning challenges at your cook-off block party, so to speak. Without ever firing up the grill. Bringing you the best of California, I'm Audra Stafford for California Life.